Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in today's episode, it's going to be a Japanese style family restaurant. Right up the stairs here. Japanese style restaurant calls for what kind of drink? It's right down here. Hot sake. Yeah, it's a bit of a rainy day today, so I decided to get hot. Rice wine has such a pleasant fragrance. Cheers, guys. It tastes very strong. This lovely dish right here is called hirame or flat fish with veggies on top. What's amazing about this place is the food arrived in five minutes, all of it, all of it. It's all here. So this is the flat fish, flat fish hot pot. What do you call it? <laughs> Hmm. Oh, it's nice. It's almost like a Chinese style vegetables on top. Yeah, I like this. Very nice with the vegetables on top. Because generally flat fish is not very tasty. It's pretty bland. Oh, this is good. It's in a really thick sauce, which is nice. Good dish. And they cut the flat fish for you in nice bite-sized pieces. This is fabulous. Look at this. And there's the skeleton right there. Love the presentation. So we're going to be eating the hot dishes first because everything has arrived already. The tempura is looking good. Got some mushrooms here. Yep, shrimp of course. There's some lotus root, some pumpkin. Looks like three pieces of the mushroom. That must be the specialty today. Some okra, and then of course, daikon radish to put into the sauce here. Let's start out with the mushroom since you get so much of it. Must mean it's in season. Oh, it's lovely. Not too pungent. Mm-hmm. My favorite here, the Ebi shrimp tempura. This is Japanese food at its best right here. You cannot go wrong with shrimp tempura. Oh. It's a treat every time. So, so good. Mm. What else do we have? Let's try the okra. We'll get some greens in today. I didn't order a salad, so this is the greens. Oh, it's good. Crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside. And we'll try this. The most colorful piece is the squash or pumpkin. It's the Japanese pumpkin. It's a very small pumpkin. So I believe it's really in the squash family. As all pumpkin is, but some people say, that's not a pumpkin, that's a squash. Can we do it in one bite? Oh, creamy sweetness. Okay, what else here? Lotus root, it looks like. Yep, you can tell by the holes. Pretty soft. Mm-hmm. This appears to be a fish. Not sure. It's hard to really tell. It's white. Maybe it's squid. Oh, yes, it is. That is squid. And the squid is very soft. This is quality tempura. 
And what do we have here? It looks like eggplant. Going in for the eggplant. Mm. The next dish is, can you guess? Can you guess what this is? You gotta look at the shape. These are fried squid legs, yes. Let's hit it with some lemon. This, I guess, can also go in the sauce. Squid legs. Is it gonna be chewy? Squid is always chewy. But this is nice, I like the batter on the outside. It's good, crispy. A lovely batter. This is called shime saba. It is a vinegar type of mackerel served on a bed of onions. Hit it with some wasabi. Saba is a really nice fish, but I don't prefer the vinegar style. Look at this beautiful presentation. Start with the salmon. I'm gonna dirty up the show you here. Some wasabi. In we go. Salmon time. This is ama ebi or sweet shrimp. So the smaller it is, the easier it is to eat the head and the tail. It's pretty small, so all of that. Mm -hmm. There is a sweetness to it. This is the squid here. Squid is one of my favorite types of sashimi, definitely. It's chewy, it's gooey. There's just something amazing about squid when it's raw. You gotta try it. And this is the basic magudo shrimp. Magudo shrimp, magudo tuna. Oh, the tuna is really good. All right, let's try some more of this here. The shime saba. Shime is vinegar, so. It's a popular dish in Japan, for sure. Maybe it needs a bit more wasabi. But it's just the vinegar is, oh, it's heavy. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. More onions. How about like this? Better. But the vinegar is still overpowering to me. And if you like vinegar, you'll like this dish. And again, this one is cooked, so. If you're not into raw fish, definitely try this if you like vinegar. Saba, or mackerel. Mm. What's left of this beautiful dish? The kai, so right here you gotta eat the seaweed, the sea plants together. Put that into some sauce here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gotta eat the garnishes. Mmm. Oh, crunchy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Not much flavor, but nice texture. Mm hmm And finally, this is a giant, look at the size of this thing, a giant shiso leaf. Shiso mint leaf. This stuff is super, super potent. <laughs> Strong. <coughs> oh my. Woo. Time for the sushi. We'll start with this one. This one's called kohara, or small fish. Small fish? I gotta look it up. Kohara. It's kind of a rare one. Kohara, small skin. A very specific name is called gizzard shad. So there you go. Kohara. I don't think I've had this in ages. It comes on the mint leaf, see that? Looks very similar to the saba, doesn't it? Going in. Oh, I remember it now. Very similar. It's got vinegar. This is hotate here, or scallops. Oh. Oh, these are good. Nice and soft. 
Sometimes they're hard. It's stinky. It's good. Fresh. Try the ikura or salmon roll. Ooh. It's popping. It's popping in your mouth. I'm gonna pop the little balls. And this is crab right here. Oh, beautiful looking crab. Ugh. It's watery. Like it just came out of a can. Ugh. And this, I believe, is the chu toro or fatty tuna. Oh, it is fatty. That is delicious. Don't forget the pickled ginger. Mm. So, we've got two different types of eel here. I've never ordered both types together. This is nice that I can finally explain and you can see the difference. So this is the anago or the sea eel. And this is served sushi style. So you can see this is more of a sort of a smooth, lighter color, and it's got a very similar sauce. And then this is the unagi or the freshwater eel, and this has got it's got some bones in it. But this is it's more meaty, more more expensive than this type. So we'll try the anago first, sea eels first. They're both good though, and they're both cooked as well too. So. Here we go, sea eel. This one's almost like mushy in texture. Very meat-like, no bones. And this one's got some little small bones. And this one is textured more like beef or pork. Look at that. It's got, it's, this comes with the skin, it's nice and fatty. And more like a steak. So this is like twice as expensive. And these are typically barbecued and then it's in a sweet sauce so here we go the freshwater eel unagi oh so much more flavor oh it's been a while since I've had this this is delicious definitely banging if anything's banging this is banging freshwater eel that's the one you want definitely give it a try this is an original sushi here. <laughs> you don't see it very often, but this is Wagyu beef on top of rice. Pretty interesting. It almost looks like beef tongue. It's so thin. Does it need shoyu? We'll put some shoyu on it just in case. Here we go. Wagyu sushi, really? Oh. oh, that is some tasty beef right there. Oh, super tender. Mm. Wow, that's fabulous. So this dish right here is called Neva Neva Soba Noodles. And the Neva Neva part is this right here. This is the Tororo, like it's a gooey potato. Neva Neva means just gooey in these from the sea, wakame, see how it's gooey? And that makes the soba noodles gooey as well too when you mix it all together. So, that's what it is. It's a disgusting dish, but I wanted to show it to you because it's very popular in Japan. Absolutely disgusting dish. Do not ever order this, but it's really super popular in Japan. People love this stuff. They go nuts. Yep, the inigawas. Now it's even more gooey. Mmm. Oh yeah. If you're ever in Japan, definitely order the Neba Neba Soba buckwheat noodles. Right here. Healthiest dish on the planet. Next up is the miso soup. And let's see, what type is it gonna be today? Oh, clams. Look at the mini little clams. These are called shijimi, the tiny clams. And that just gives the miso so much flavor. Oh, yeah. Full of clams. Let's give it a drink. 
Oh, that soup is so rich. Oh, so good. All oh, those clams are delicious. That is fabulous. And you can actually get the meat out of these if you want. You can pick it out, but basically you're just eating the broth of these things. That's all you really need. Oops. That one's gone forever. Is it possible to eat these? It's easiest at the end when all the soup's gone. It's time for dessert, isn't it? You guys hungry for dessert? Yes? No? Oh, that was fast. I got the. That was really fast. She got here in five seconds. The dessert has arrived. Look at this wonderful looking parfait. Gorgeous, isn't it? Got the matcha over here. Matcha ice cream and matcha jelly. Got a couple rice cakes here. Some vanilla ice cream. What do you call that on top? Nama cream. Rare cream, fresh cream, and then some azuki. Yep. More azuki down there. It's too beautiful to eat. I'll just have a little bit of the matcha and we'll be done with it. Matcha and azuki. Let's go Japanese style. That looks pretty good. Oh. <laughs> That matcha is really strong, strong powder. Let's try some of the jelly as well too. Gotta get around over onto this side. We'll try some of the matcha. Zelly they say in Japan, but it's really jelly or jello. And get one of the rice cakes. Ooh. That's pleasant. Bit of vanilla ice cream to finish it off. So there it was. This restaurant is called the Hanaya Yohei. Beautiful restaurant. Good value. Good prices. I'll put the items down below what I had and I'll try to put the prices as well too. So on my rating scale between one and six Erica Eds, today I'm gonna give this meal, I'm gonna give it a five star ranking. Five out of six. Pretty good eats for the value I think, definitely. Japanese family restaurant, good taste. If you want to eat Japanese food, a lot of it for good price, good value, you want to come to one of these family style restaurants. And there are 160 of these Japan wide. So there'll be a link down below to their website. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some.